Auto Geek. I'm going to be demonstrating the new Wolfgang Uber wheel cleaner. Uh, it's a heavy duty wheel cleaner that's safe for all wheel finishes, including billet, uncoated, clear coated, chrome, you name it, it's safe for it. Uh, what's really cool is it actually changes color as it works. So when you spray it on, as you'll see here in a minute, it actually changes colors as it interacts with all the iron particles. So whenever you're cleaning a wheel, the first thing you want to do, make sure it's cool to the touch. If it's hot, you don't want to clean it. The last thing you want is any type of cleaner, even just a car wash, so drying on a surface. Uh, so make sure it's cool to the touch. This wheel is. The vehicle hasn't been driven in a while. You're going to start off by spraying a liberal amount. And this wheel cleaner is also free of any acids, so it doesn't have a horrible smell. It, it, it doesn't smell like you know apples, but it doesn't smell horrible either. And one area that a lot of people overlook is the wheel barrel. That's behind the wheel, actually behind the face of the wheel. And this is where the wheels get really, really dirty. You know, if you have great attention to detail, you'll see in a lot of cars that the wheel barrel itself is really, really filthy. And as a detailer or a car care enthusiast, that's something that you don't want to overlook because it's attention to detail. So as you can see, you spray a liberal amount on and you let this dwell for two to three minutes. And it's already changing color, just being in there for a couple seconds. When it's changing color, that's, that actually means it's releasing all the iron particles from the wheel, along with all the, you know, the, the road grime that's built up over the course of several weeks, several months, or in some cases, several years. So if you have a vehicle that's an Audi or a BMW, something that has performance brake pads, you know, that has a lot of brake dust, even after driving a couple miles, this is a great routine wheel cleaner changing colors already and I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes. Okay, the wheel cleaner has had time to dwell for about two or three minutes. That's really all it takes. Some wheel cleaners, they recommend letting it sit for 15, 20, 30 minutes. That's not the case with Wolfgang Uber wheel cleaner. So by the time it's been about three minutes, it's, it's released all the brake dust particles, all the road grime, you know, as you saw in the color changing. You can start agitating it. Even the best wheel cleaners need to be agitated because the wheel cleaners that you see are spray on and usually rinse off. They usually have acid in them, and that's not good for your wheel's finish uh, over extended periods of time. Especially if it's uncoated, you can actually stain the wheel. So agitation is required, uh, but agitation is going to be much easier with the Daytona Speedmaster wheel brush. This is a flexible wheel brush and as you can see you can flex it any which way you want. It's great for cleaning the wheel barrels and what I like about it is it has the knuckle guard so when I'm cleaning the wheels here I'm not going to scuff my knuckles up. You start by doing the wheel barrels first. As you can see just a couple strokes of the brush it's already starting to paint it up really well. So now I take a lot of elbow grease to get this wheel cleaner to release all that brake dust. Just a little check for those of you that already have the Daytona Speedmaster wheel brush. When you pull it out between the spokes, give it a slight twist as you pull it. That'll help minimize any slinging. So instead of just yanking it out, twist it as you pull. Just a little tip for you on that. You're going to make sure I get here between the, the brake caliper and the wheel barrel. You can see this, all the bristles, they flex. So now that the wheel barrel has been cleaned, I'm going to grab the Montana Boar's Hair wheel brush. This is the 8 inch version. It's really soft, it's got feathered boar's hair bristles, so the tips, all the bristles are feathered. It's very soft, very gentle, again safe for all wheel finishes. You can see just one stroke was all it needed. Just like that. It doesn't take a lot, you don't have to sit there and spend hours scrubbing. That's because when you use the conjunction with a good wheel cleaner like this, a lot of elbow grease is not required. And I like this brush because say if you're cleaning like Corvette wheels or something like a, a sports car that sits low to the ground, you're not going to have this big gap here. So if a little bit touches the paint, it's not going to harm it, it's not going to scratch it. Already cleaned the wheel. 
I use both brushes as you saw, the Daytona Speedmaster along with the Montana Boar's Hair Wheel Brush. As you can see, I didn't put a lot of effort behind it. Just a little bit of scrubbing, a little bit of agitating here and there. It didn't take a lot. The wheel cleaner did all the work for me. So right now, I'm going to give the wheel a strong glass of water with the industrial fireman's nozzle. To rinse all the wheel cleaner off. Wheel cleaning made simple with Wolfgang Uber wheel cleaner. Now that the wheel's all clean, I'm going to dry it real quick using the black all-purpose wheel detailing towel. This is actually really nice because it's, you know, a lot of times you have your real nice microfiber towels and if you get them dirty, you know, they're an eyesore. Well, with this being black, you don't see any of the brake dust that happens to come on there. If any does occur, so you can keep it it doesn't drive you nuts having a towel that's got a little brake dust here and there on it. So you can keep it separated, but of course you wouldn't want to use it on your paint because of cross-contamination. Now that the wheel is dry, I'm going to use another new Wolfgang product. This is called Deep Gloss Liquid Seal. And as I like to call it, magic in a bottle. This stuff is phenomenal. It's good for paint, it's good for wheels, good for chrome good for glass, good for plastic exterior trim. What it is, it's a hyper-concentrated spray-on walk-away paint sealer. So this towel I'm holding right here, I have no use for it. I'm going to put it away. There's no buffing required with this product. You simply mist it on the surface, spread it out, and the polymers immediately start cross-linking. It's not a one-hour, a two-hour, a three- or a four-hour process. As soon as this hits the, the paint, the wheel, the glass, the chrome, whatever you're applying it to, it's going to start cross-linking immediately. So there's really no curing time, um, so you can get it wet right away. And it's really easy to use. This one 8 ounce bottle will do about 40 cars. Just one ounce alone will do about six full size vehicles. When you're starting out with a fresh applicator, I found that microfiber works best. Shake it. Just give one or two mists just to prime it. And then after that, just one mist. And that's enough along with the pad being primed for this entire wheel. I'm going to spread out a real thin, even coat. As you can see, there's no haze, there's no chalkiness. If I get a little bit on the tire, it's not going to hurt. And this product actually contains the maximum amount of UV inhibitors available in a paint sealant, so you know that it's going to go to work for you, and it's going to protect the finish and keep it looking really good. And this is ideal for use on brakes, too, because it, it makes the surface so slick that it's going to repel brake dust and make cleaning much easier. Spread a real thin, even coat. And if you're applying this to paint, you shouldn't really even see the product. If you do see the product, you're applying it too thick. One spray alone, just one spray on a panel, is enough for that entire panel. Like this fender up here, I could just do one spray and that's more than enough. The hood, for example, would require two. Other than that, it's that simple to use. Spray on, walk away. You can do your entire vehicle in 10 minutes or less, and it's going to last about three to four months.